So this is a northern blue tongue skink. Um, they're from Australia. There's a, quite a few species of blue tongue skinks. There's the Indonesian, which has a bunch of subspecies, but these guys like it a little bit more dry and arid. They're more of a desert species than the Indonesian. They have a wide diet. They're going to eat proteins like bugs and pinky mice and all that type of stuff in captivity, as well as eating some fruits and vegetables. And there's also a prepared blue tongue skink diet. Fun fact is they can also eat some types of dog and cat wet food. It's another popular diet for them. They get about two feet long, so they're one of the bigger skinks out there. How old is this guy? This guy's going to be about a year and a half old. They grow pretty quick. They hatch out super, super tiny, and they grow pretty quick because they're big eaters. They don't bite for the most part. As long as you hold them a good bit and get them used to people, they don't bite. They're one of the least aggressive lizards in my opinion. What makes them so popular is that blue tongue is what gets people interested in them. The cost is a little bit more than other lizards just because they need a big space. They need about eight feet of floor space at this size. So most of that cost is going to be that big cage and the lighting. They need the heating and the UVB lighting.